Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to restore master database. Uh, the scenarios that this particular video is going to help you are uh, you have a master database backup. Master database backup that you have is most recent and is in good state. When I talk about most recent uh, and in good state, is that once you restore your master database backup, uh, you will not lose any data. And that's probably the whole purpose of restoring your master database backup. One of the purpose and in good state means that is restorable and master data files is corrupted let's say that that could be another scenario that your master data files is corrupted and other scenario could be that uh, you have some change some uh, system configuration and uh, it messed up your master database and you don't really know what uh, configuration that you changed in SQL Server so you wanted to go ahead and restore your master database however do plan an outage because uh, restoring a master database needs to have SQL Server uh, instance run in a single user mode that means no application can connect to SQL Server but a sysadmin one sysadmin account so uh, what we're going to do in this particular um, what we're going to learn in this particular demo is how to run SQL Server in a single user mode which I as I said that is a prereq of restoring master database in SQL Server Number two, how to restore master database. Obviously, this is uh, this tutorial is all about that. And number three, resolution to the error that you can't log in because SQL Server is in single user mode. So let me put it right here real quick. Single user mode. Uh, the reason I put this uh, uh, third option, even once you restart your um, uh, SQL Server in single user mode, only one sysadmin account needs to, um, uh, can acquire a connection to SQL Server. Uh, le uh, let's say that um, in a lot of organization, believe me, um, the environments are not all that perfect uh, because we have some service accounts that's uh, coming from different application and we have given them uh, sysadmin uh, access and they're continuously pinging SQL Server. As soon as they see SQL Server, can accept a connection they get into SQL Server so in the meantime when you put in a single user mode and you take a little bit time to go to connect to SQL Server and in the meantime that that particular um, one account uh, comes in and acquire the connection that means you're out of luck it won't let you get in because only one admin account can get into SQL Server instance so uh, we will be uh, seeing a logical trick to do that and that means that um, you need to just go ahead and stop the service start the services right away and try to acquire uh, acquire the connection even though we'll make every effort to have all the applications stopped let's say that you did that and also um, you have um, <clears throat> made sure that uh, all the services that is coming to the SQL Server component services that's coming to the SQL Server uh, and have a sysadmin account, you made sure that those services are stopped so they will not try to come into SQL Server when you put SQL Server in single user mode. In spite of all that, you might run into this issue, but no worries about that. We'll take care of that. So let's go ahead and do this. Here's my SQL Server. This is my SQL Server. Dynamics AX Dev is my host name, and SQL SQL Test is my instance name. And here are my master database, system database. Right now, I do not have any user database. This demo is particularly um, about just restoring master database. We can use two methods to do it. One using uh, SQL Server Management Studio, which is uh, a bit hard in a way that um, you know every every time you click on new query it try to acquire a new connection which we can we'll, I'll show you that how to trick you know SQL Server to let you do that and also SQL uh, CMD will be using that so we'll be using first SQL C, C, uh, uh, CMD uh, command line and then we will go ahead and use SQL Server Management Studio here is my uh, let's go ahead and Here is my SQL Server system backup. My master.bak is my backup right here. So this is the file that we're gonna use. So let's go ahead and uh, first thing, uh, put SQL Server, uh, this particular instance in single user mode. So in order to do that, you need to go in SQL Server configuration. So here is the SQL Server 2014 configuration manager. So we're gonna go ahead and click yes. 
As you can see that the few components of SQL Server is running on this uh, particular instance. One is SQL Server Browsing Services, other is uh, SQL Server Agent Services, SQL Server for these. It's always a good idea to go ahead and stop these services. So we're going to go ahead and stop all these services but SQL Server for now. All right, all these services have stopped. So let's go ahead and put SQL Server in single user mode. In, in order to do that, you right click, go to the properties of SQL Server right here in configuration, go to the startup parameters and dash M is the option to start SQL Server in single user mode. So let's go ahead and add that. Apply It's going to tell you that these changes will not take effect until you restart the SQL services and that's the reason when I said that plan outage because you are bringing SQL server services down so go ahead and click OK and we're going to go ahead and restart the SQL service services this will put SQL server in single user mode and we will verify that SQL server is in single user mode okay let's let's go ahead and refresh this as you can see that uh, login failed user dynamics uh, server is single user mode so let's go ahead and and apply that trick that I was telling you um, up here what we need to do since we can't really uh, if we go uh, the databases and click on new query as you can see the login failed okay let's go ahead and keep it just like this and restart the SQL services so and bring your okay SQL services restarted and let's go ahead and click on connect now as you can see it's connected so if you can't connect just keep restarting the SQL services that's the trick I wanted to share with you uh, because uh, what happened is as I said that there, there are applications who are connecting with SQL Server instance constantly as soon as they see uh, that SQL Server is accepting a connection they will acquire the connection so uh, this is the way to to just really kill any existing connection and right away acquire the connection so what we're going to do is uh, we're gonna go ahead and close this which will kill our connection and go ahead and open the SQL CMD so that killed our connection this is CMD uh, in order to uh, connect with SQL Server using uh, C SQL CMD you need to run a command SQL CMD dash server and then you need to put dynamics AX dev which is my host name where my SQL Server instance is running and SQL Server instance is SQL TAS and if I click yes it's connect is connected now there's only one user connected so we're connected with that let's go ahead and um, basically run the command to restore the database um, the SQL Server database so we're gonna go ahead and restore database master master and we're going to do drive equal and then we need to give in single quotes the path to our SQL Server master database right here and backslash master dot bak and this is our um, backup file and we're going to use with replace this is going to uh, uh, replace the uh, existing master um, uh, database so we're going to go ahead and do that click yes and click go in let's see what we did oh device right here we uh, really meant disk not drive is uh, Oracle coming in me so we're gonna go ahead and change this to disk and up here from disk 
from disk so let's go ahead and run this as you can see that master database is restored successfully so let's go ahead and uh, do the same thing and we're gonna go ahead and um, get out of this session so we got out of this session so let's go ahead and use SQL Server Management Studio and try to do the same thing and as I said that uh, you might run into an issue that uh, it's a single user mode so you can't really connect to it so we're gonna go ahead and restart SQL services it's still in single user mode so we're gonna go ahead and connect alright so um, basically when I took the backup this particular uh, Dynamics AX Dev Raza account was not there so what we're going to do now is go ahead and run with SA account all right let me go ahead and bring SQL Server in multi user right now and uh, we will create an account and then we'll go back to our experiments click OK restart SQL Server in multi-user mode we're going to run as a different user okay so we're connected <clears throat> what we're going to do now is create a login because we basically restored the uh, uh, master database so all the logins that we have created prior to the um, um, prior to the restore uh, it's going to really go away so all the settings that we did, all the changes that we did um, after the backup, it's not going to be in our SQL Server. So what we need to do is go ahead and disconnect this. Since we have created, let's go back and put SQL Server in single user mode. Apply. OK. And restart. let's go ahead and run SQL Server Management Studio as an administrator and try to get into SQL Server alright as you can see we are in SQL Server if we try to go in master database and click on new query it's going to tell us that uh, okay it's in single user mode which is fine let's go ahead and do the same trick that we did earlier All right, services restarted, so we are in now. So let's go ahead and um, restore the databases. Restore database master from drive. Master dot bak with replace. So we're going to go ahead and execute this. I keep forgetting the disk and drive. <laughs> All right. 
All right, our master database is restored. So this is how you restore your master database using SQL Server Management Studio. Now you can go ahead basically and restart your SQL Server in multi-user multi mode. So we're gonna go ahead and take, remove this dash M option, apply, click OK, OK. And let's go ahead and start the services and start all the services that we stopped prior to the restore okay so let's go ahead and try to acquire another connection yes we can let's try to do it one more and let's try now the CMD so what we're going to do is SQL CMD dash s dynamics ax dev that's my host name SQL test is my SQL server instance name and let's oh we just restored the SQL server uh, right here let's go ahead and um, basically create the login again so what we're going to do is create this login and try to connect again let's go ahead and do this so we're connected basically uh, these are all intentional errors that what I were trying to do um, I mean I wanted you to learn uh, every aspect of it and I wanted you to go through all the um, errors that you may find uh, during your restore and how to resolve them so basically this is it this is how you um, restore your master database and we learned how to run SQL Server in a single user mode we learned how to restore a uh, master database and resolution to the can't login SQL Server is in single user mode and I hope this video helps